I just I, I don't know what it is so satisfying about it, but it's it's probably a particle system. Hello everyone. Hey Nate, what's up, man? Happy to see you here tonight. Hope you're having a decent time. <clears throat> Still a bit congested. I'm feeling better today than I have the past couple days, though. I'm excited about that. But, uh... Still feeling a bit congested and whatnot. <clears throat> We're playing some Rebel Raiders Operation Nighthawk, I guess, for the PS2 Gauntlet. I, uh... Don't know... I mean, I say this pretty much every time. I don't know anything about the game. It's on a CD. Not a DVD. I know that. Uh, there are aeroplanes that will be driving around. I know that. <laughs> That's about it, though. So, yeah. Um, okay, I mean, I guess the screen's fine where it's at. Validate. That's a weird option for, uh, continue or accept or whatever. Validate. But I guess it works. I guess it works. Oh, boy. How's everybody else doing tonight, though? Nate, I hope you're doing all right, man. I'm uh, happy to see you here in stream. I feel like there was something that I wanted to tell you or wanted to bring up to you, but I don't remember what it is now. I've, I've completely... It's completely slipped my mind. I don't know, sadly. I don't know what it was. Ghost leader to yellow leader. Bandits inbound. Acknowledge, ghost leader. Three bogeys on my scopes heading 192. Let's take him out. Roger. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're actually already in control of the, the plane. Okay. Uh, so square looks like missiles of some sort. Triangle doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, X time shoots. Space. The most devastating conflict in history was happening on Mother Planet D. I'm hoping that... Camera will change at some point because this is kind of shit right now. All the major cities were under the martial law. The rest of the world was only this. Oh, we got boosters. Only a few number of courageous nations gathered to fight against tyranny. No one knows how the thing started, but this handful of fighters. Oh no! <laughs> this seems like a uh, excellent way to get fucking sick. <laughs> like. <laughs> This camera, man. I'm assuming, though, it's just for this whole intro sequence. The, the camera randomly adjusting the way it is. And this weird, like, side view that we got going on here. I also, I hope there's some sort of, like, auto lock-on or something. Because it's going to be real hard to shoot people down with this, man. Oh, God, and it's moving so much. This is, this is a great way to make Christian just sick as shit. Especially if we hit this button. Oh, good. The camera changed. <laughs> right as we were hitting it, the camera changed. Oh, I do know one thing I wanted to bring up, but it was uh, more for Rue than anything else. I uh, I did order Odin Sphere the other day, the, the game that they've been wanting to see. I haven't gotten any updates on when it's going to arrive yet, sadly, but I have ordered it. It is, should, hopefully, be on its way here soon. Uh, so wait, was that the tutorial? That didn't feel like a tutorial. Or wait, no. No, no, no. I don't think that was actually the tutorial that we were just in. I think the tutorial is just optional, which I appreciate. I appreciate it being optional for the people that don't need it, but, uh, I probably do. <laughs> Weapons, gun, fire and forget missile, super weapon, multi-missile. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Seems reasonable enough to me. A fire and forget missile. I'm assuming that means that it can, uh, it can, like, lock on or home or, or something like that. Fire and forget, you know? This is ground control. Ghost leader, report in. Okay, yeah, this Ghost is much better <laughs> than the view we had Ghost before. Leader, good to have you on board. Welcome to this training session. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's start with the basics of your YV-21 fighter. This okay. This visual indicator shows you your next target. It activates when oh, you're getting too far nice. away. Oh, that's nice. And may lose visual contact. It we have a limit on our range. booster, I wonder. We will use it throughout this exercise to show you the next training area. Okay, Ghost Leader. We know that you've obtained clearance on the F-6E fighter at the Academy. 
F6E fighter? I don't know what the hell that means. YV21. There's a lot of acronyms. Skills fly through the circles. Follow the objective indicator to the next area. Okay. I think I can handle that. Oh. So is that like R2 I think is a big boost and then R1 is a smaller boost? That's what it seems like. That's cool. We kind of have some options with it, I guess. That's kind of nice. I'm surprised there's no way to like actually Good. turn the Your plane. It just kind of does it for us automatically, which is nice, honestly. But uh, flying at normal speed. I expected it to be a little, a little more speeds. in depth, maybe. Three additional speeds. Okay. Buttons allow you to accelerate. Hold down the medium throttle button to fly at high speed. I'm guessing that's R1, medium throttle. Yep, R1. Gotcha. We're doing it. All right, I don't, how long do I have to hold it down for? Hold down the full throttle button to fly at top speed. R2, I'm assuming. Yeah, look at that, man. We figured this out. We already knew what the hell we were doing. We don't need no, no tutorial here. <laughs> we should probably try not to just crash straight into shit, though. That wouldn't be a good look for anyone. The brake button allows you to slow down. Okay, the brake hold button, I don't actually know what that is. Low speed. Circle is reload. L2. Oh, oh, okay. Fly at high speed. Let's try another course, but this time with a time limit. So it's nice that we always just kind of stay floating. Like it seems like there's no sort of, um, no sort of. I guess we we have to get to the start. Like uh, in in some flying games, you know, when you slow down to a certain point, it will. Uh, start dropping the the plane or or whatever you're flying i appreciate that that doesn't seem to be a problem in this game oh no look at the time limit it's counting down so fast ah we're gonna die no we're probably fine there was that one close call but <laughs> how many how many are there is this the last one yeah okay that was easy too easy man Target practice, okay. Target practice will probably be the worst one for me. <laughs> Ground targets are usually indicated by this visual mark. Your I think it did automatically. The number of ground targets destroyed during your mission. Now use your gun to uh, all these lock targets. on like the missiles. Press I feel like it did just go straight for it, which is nice. Okay, well, maybe maybe if we were somewhat locked on. <laughs> okay, uh, blow it up. Okay. GG. And one more. Uh, what was the brake button? L L2. Okay. We're going to we're probably going to end up needing that brake. <laughs> It'll come in handy when we're trying to shoot something in front of us. Cuz uh in an airplane, you, you kind of got to fly straight for whatever the hell you're shooting. Wait until the target is locked, then fire a missile by pressing the missile button. Can we flip? Oh, that's kind of gross. Okay. Oh, boy. That's a quick way to make Christian feel sick. Uh, <laughs> holy shit, there's a lot of them. Uh, Take note that no more than eight missiles can be fired simultaneously. Your head-up display always indicates the number of remaining missiles and shells. If you're out of ammunition, you cannot oh, fire with this weapon until you have that was reloaded. Close. You can press the reload button I noodle. to reload both your gun and your missiles. Use the reload button wisely. Happy to see you here, love. Running out of ammunition when you're in a good position to take an enemy out. Okay. You were busy, sorry. Busy with what? Okay. Now you know what is more important to destroy ground targets. Yeah, the best is boyfriend ever. Start the real deal. Most of the time What's the real deal? Out on a mission with a whole squadron. Okay. Always keep an you don't need that rude. <laughs> Their status is displayed on your head up display. If you lose all your wingmen, the mission is failed. I'll These yell at you. How why would I yell wingmen. at you? What were you doing? TikTok? <laughs> Enemy fighters are indicated by this mark. Okay, now, so we're supposed to keep an eye on our wingman and enemy. the the enemy? What? What's the wingman thing? Got to do with anything? That's not the wingman, right? That's the enemy. 
your sister sent you like 30 TikToks? Holy shit. Shoot all of the missiles. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> your head up display keeps track of the number of air targets destroyed during the mission. As very cool, notice, very cool. Each time you shoot down an enemy oh, wait. aircraft, is that no, that's a friendly. That's our wingman or whatever. Well, most enemy fighters aren't just They were funny retreat. and you sent me a forklift one? Are they forklift tricks? When your tricks? aircraft is locked by an enemy missile, you cannot avoid it by accelerating or with evasive maneuvers. Oh, really? There's the no way, way to way avoid. The way to get rid of an enemy missile on your tail is to accomplish a quick barrel by pressing the dodge button. Be is that the L1 one right here? The very last moment and only press the dodge button when the missile accelerates towards you. You will see the missile's flame change. Wait, did I not update it? Happens. Now, engage these two enemy aircraft. Why well, click the button again in case it hadn't missiles. updated? I did uh I did change it before I got on, but I might have forgot to hit the the update button or something like that. Cuz like it was already prepared. All I had to do was hit the X button. Wait, what is? Is that about to hit me? Okay. I think we dodged it. I think. <laughs> I wonder why it, uh... I must have forgot to hit the button. That's the only thing that makes sense, but... Yo, y'all going down, boy. Y'all ain't got shit on me. Let's try again. Remember, oh. press the dodge button only when the missile is accelerating. Oh, we were supposed to dodge, not... <laughs> incoming missile, okay. It's incoming. I got it. But where is it? Can I see it? Oh, there it is. There we go. We dodged it. Uh, so I'm not allowed to blow shit up? I just have to dodge it? <laughs> but I want to blow shit up. It says Rebel Raiders, but after Gauntlet, it says Mountain Bike Adrenaline. What? I'm confused. I don't know what you mean, Noodle. Maybe your page just hasn't updated fully or something like that. I'm assuming your page just hasn't updated. Anyways, I dodged like two missiles. Can I just blow shit up now? What's up, guys? What have I missed? On my screen, it does it doesn't say that. I think is what you were trying to type, right? You're playing with my emotions here, Rue. It half says does, half says doesn't. You haven't updated yet? What do you mean? I definitely updated. I hit the button. Okay, yeah, doesn't say that. Okay, so I think it's just yours, Noodle. Okay, there's a missile, and dodge. <laughs> Shut up, I'm tired. Trust me, I know the feeling, man. I definitely know the feeling. Okay, I, I think I'm allowed to destroy these dudes now. I hope I'm allowed to destroy these dudes now because, like, I've dodged three missiles. I don't know what else you want from me. I'm tired of dodging. I just want to murder. Next target this way? Ah, this bro. Hey, dude, bro. Uh, turn around. Uh, you. Lock on. And all the missiles. <laughs> You can't dodge them all. I mean, you might be able to, but nah. You turned in your paper proposal, so your anxiety is soaring right now? Bro, that sucks. I mean, like, it sucks that your anxiety is soaring, but it's a good thing you got it turned in. And I'm sure it's going to do well. Like, I doubt you have anything to worry about. Not that that really helps much. As a, another good. fellow with anxiety, I totally to get like. <laughs> too much Bro, we didn't take any now damage the first time I shot him down. What do you mean? In this canyon and take him out as quickly as possible. You'll close and then maybe you'll think about coming back, Noodle. Rude. Also, guess what? What am I guessing? Uh, you are uh getting your own place to live soon this is almost the end of your training session you 
You seem to be ready for combat. And Nobody's redeemed it lately. Remember all you've learned during this Just must not have been long enough now since the last time it was redeemed. As many enemy aircraft as possible in real yeah, yeah, Noodle condition. did the other day. Oh, there is one thing that I wanted to tell you, Rue, a little bit earlier, but you weren't on yet. Um, I did order Odin Sphere a couple days ago. I was hoping to have, like, an estimate on when it would get here by now. But sadly, the seller's taking a little bit of time to get it shipped out. But, with that said, it's on the way. It, it's coming. It's a, well, okay. I, I paid for it. <laughs> I guess is what I should say. I don't technically know if it's on its way. I hope it's on its way soon. Um, because, you know, I paid for it. But... <laughs> uh, can we, like... Oh... Yes, I know you want us to reload, game. I'm working on it. As long as you have it ordered. I do. I have it ordered. And like I said, hopefully it'll be here soon. The place that I ordered it from is usually pretty decent about getting stuff here at a uh, at a, at a good time. Um, and the, the seller has really good reviews. Like, really good reviews. So, I'm, uh, I'm hopeful that it'll be a speedy delivery process. But there's no way to know for sure, I guess, until, you know, it's actually here. one last capability of your aircraft, which we haven't shown you yet. What's your opinion on you Robert Pattinson and Twilight? Ugh. By pressing the special weapon button. The advanced weapon system uses a specific energy gauge, which can only be refilled by shooting So is that the energy thing on the left? There is no reloading. There is no reloading. I kind of like the little portraits. The game itself so far is fine, but a little basic. Um, but I like the little portraits of the people talking. It's very like a uh, old school anime, like I feel like when it's designed. Feels nice. When the weapon is ready for fire, release the fire button to launch six high-speed missiles at your enemy. Okay. So hold fire to charge. System is very powerful. But which remember, which you've only got limited ammo right okay um sp special weapons button got it and then and then let it go boom took him down boy let's go next next Wait, Linux? I don't know anything about Ka Kali. Ka Kali? Kali? I don't know how to pronounce that one. I don't know anything about that specific distribution, but uh, I do like Linux. I actually prefer Linux to Windows, uh, though sadly I don't use it all that much because, you know, I'm, I'm a gamer and uh, games just run better on Windows because pretty much every game is made for, for Windows. But with that said, hopefully that will be getting better because uh, the Steam Deck made by Valve uses a uh, version of Arch Linux, a custom version of Arch Linux, and uh, Training mission complete, that is doing Return very well. Like, they sold out in no time at assignment. all. So hopefully more people will support Linux because of that. Uh, not to mention they're also making the Proton compatibility layer, um, which is already freaking amazing. So... That picture's so weird. <laughs> it's just... It's just weird. Um, not all distributions of Linux are that much different, though. What's the... What's the question? No promises I can help with it, but I can, uh... I can... I can try... To at least tell you, like, uh... Nudge you in the right direction, at least. Maybe. I love it so much. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> it's just a weird ass picture i wish you could uh like show it directly on stream but yeah <laughs> just so everybody knows what the hell you're talking about it's raw it's like a uh a drawing uh, of a cartoon robert pattinson with his booty blown up like extra large and uh like he's what in a twerking pose right <laughs> like it's weird man every day new freedom fighters were joining the ranks of the rebellion but the UWN had decided to hit at the heart of the Allied forces and to put an end to the Civil War once and for all by launching a surprise raid on the Bounty base. Oh. 
all the rebel forces at the base were mobilized for battle. Do you have a rainbow table for it, Rue? Fresh from the academy, I was preparing to or is it possible to get a rainbow table for it? I'll be honest though, I haven't cracked uh, a rainbow table. It's like a it's like a lookup table, basically. It's a uh, it's a bunch of different information to help the 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 cracking go faster. It's a uh, it's what we used whenever we had to crack uh, Windows passwords back in the day when I was in college um, for salted hash tables. Ah. Uh. Because the, the the passwords were a salted hash, and we had to crack them. So we were used rainbow tables to uh, as like a lookup tool to help with the hurry the process along. Also, I just completely got hit. This is not going well. Turns out I need to pay a little bit of attention <laughs> to what the hell's going on in the game. That missile just straight up hit me, man. This is like the first actual mission. It should not... Ah, uh, way to just waste all the missiles. I'm glad ammo seems to be unlimited. Normal ammo. Like, obviously, the special ammo, not so much. Also, L1 is not break. L1 is the... I, I guess they call it quick barrel? The dodge? I feel like I should be using the, the regular gun a little bit more often, but... I'm in two Twilight groups, a Robert Pattinson group on Facebook, and it was on your feed today, and you need it. You do not need it. <laughs> you want it, maybe. I don't understand why. Where would you even put it? Like, how big is the the picture? Is it like a piece of wall art or something? Or is it just like, you net it? <laughs> I don't think so. No, I was following the instruction in the doc, but the pseudo John they gave me didn't work. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. We had a similar problem. Sadly, I don't think I can be of a whole lot of help here, to be honest with you. Um, we had a similar problem whenever we were doing our project because the uh, the instructions from the, the book that we had were for Windows XP. But obviously, by the time I was in college, we had updated everything to Windows 7. So <laughs> I actually had to just do a bunch of Google Foo to figure out how to get it to work and then I uh, showed the class and yeah that's that's how we got around that but this dude can shoot backwards and it's not nice I think we need to get a little bit more distance oh god that hurt okay we're about to get hit again it seems like we can't lock on can we lock on with the this the super mode no it doesn't seem like it oh fuck me dude yeah, there's no locking on. We are supposed to be, like, shooting it down, though, right? Like, that's that's what we're doing? I'm so gonna die, though. Okay. We gotta get a little bit more space between us. 5x7 or 8x10? Oh, so they just do, like, prints of whatever you want, whatever size you want them in? I feel like he's trying to be right in front of us. <laughs> I don't want to be this close to you, bro. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be this close. Yes, did we get one? I think we might have got one. Maybe. Now you reload. You need the 8x10 and a lot of stickers. I don't think you need it, though. I think you'll be okay without it. I'm just saying. Hey, there we go. Shoot the hell out of him. Freaking die, you bomber bastard. Okay, he's done. Oh, God, you can totally see that? Yeah. It was a whole thing. Like, the teacher thought we were all just screwing it up. I guess it was her first class teaching with the new textbook or whatever. But, yeah, she just thought we were all screwing it up or whatever. And then I was like, no, for real, though. Like, these directions don't make any sense. And, like, I made a, uh, a, a, a account with the password just set to, like, password or whatever. Because that's what the, the lookup table was. It was, like, all of the most common passwords. Like, a list of, like, 2,000 of the most common passwords. And uh, what they this equated to. And their, their, uh, their hash form. I don't remember if those the lookup table was solved as well or not. I don't remember. But, uh, anyways. 
and like I made one using the number one password on that list. So it should have been the first one that it looked up because it was sequential, right? And uh, it still didn't go through. And that's when the teacher was like, oh shit, maybe, <laughs> maybe something is broken here. And uh, like I said, Google Foo. Google Foo is what saved, saved our ass there in that case. But <laughs> it also doesn't help that your instructor is kind of sucks at writing instructions. Great at showing, though, if we do it in class. I mean, I, I, there's studies showing that visual learners aren't really a th thing, per se. But I do feel that I'm very much a quote-unquote visual learner. At least in the sense that, like, seeing and doing something myself, I feel like I, I learn much quicker that way than I do if I just, like, read instructions even if they're very well written instructions you know holy shit there's a lot of people all of a sudden uh also don't get hit uh where'd everyone go hello friends all defense systems activated all defense can is, is there friendly fire i don't know if there's friendly fire i should probably try not to uh shoot down my friends though damn it <laughs> they're flying too fast can everybody just slow it down a bit, please? I'm having trouble keeping up. Oh, I'm out of missiles. Reload! Just, just fire all the missiles all the time. That's <laughs> that's all you gotta do. We do that, we're sure to win eventually. <laughs> oh, God. Almost hit the, the random pillar. Wait, is everybody dead? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we got the thing. Oh, shit, boy. <laughs> okay. We're in the clear. Where is this last bro at? There he is. One little dude over there. He's he's so fucked. Uh, he ain't making it out of here alive. Also, what's the accelerate button? Not L1. Yeah, you're... Oh, he braked, man. Got them a Oh, there's another two of these things now? What the hell? I thought we were done with these bastards. What if we just run into each other? Can I just, like, take you down that way? Seems like that'd be a, uh, a bit better, a bit easier. <laughs> Don't ruin the romance, bro. What the hell? Even that gave you issues with such a base bat. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, the directions that we were following just they weren't working at all like not even a little bit um so yeah and, and sadly the program we were using to hack into the, the uh into the windows machine was a a purpose-built program it was probably built on top of linux to be honest because you know most things like that are but it wasn't like a, a common distro like uh you know ubuntu or mint or kali or anything like that it was just uh whatever whatever cracking os <laughs> it was just it, like the whole os was just built around cracking that's all it did um i forget exactly what the fix was but i think it i don't remember if it was just an updated version of the tool or or what but yeah yep it was a it was a thing because i'm sure i'm sure with enough googling you'll be able to find it but Perhaps Google Flu is what I need right now, exactly. The only, uh... The only hacking tools on Linux I'm, I've, I've used recently at all is, uh, for Wi-Fi. Because I was messing around with seeing if I could break my Wi-Fi encryption and uh, just looking at different leader. vectors of attack on there and whatnot. And Learned some interesting things wall. about it, but uh, yeah. <laughs> but the program was that I was using, I, I don't remember the name of it, but it was extremely simple to run. Uh, it was basically just turn it on. <laughs> uh, what am I being shot by? Yeah, it turns out that Wi-Fi, even secured Wi-Fi is extremely vulnerable to uh <laughs> to being uh broken into man if somebody just has access to the access to the wi-fi and uh, uh eh, this was probably like eight years ago so these days i doubt it would even take this long but uh it took up to i think it was up to eight hours was the maximum amount of time 
that the program I was using would take to, to break into most consumer and many enterprise uh, Wi-Fi systems. Uh, kind of crazy, really, to be honest, but, you know, whatever. Youch, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope that they've patched that specific bug that they, they used. It was, uh, it was WPS, the wireless protected setup keys. Um, they, uh, are, are susceptible to brute force attacks because, oh shit, that's like right on top. Um, because they don't have like any sort of lockout system or anything like that. They're just like, you can try as many passwords as you want and there's no, there's no lockout. Like it doesn't matter if you fail it 20 times or a hundred times or whatever, you can just keep trying more passwords. And to make matters worse, the password is only uh, eight bits and that was split up into two bits and, or I'm sorry, into two sets of four bits. So you only had to crack two four bit passwords or brute force two four bit passwords. And then to make matters even worse, some of those bits, I think it was two of the last four bits were uh, a, uh, a, a checksum to verify that everything went across properly. So really you only had to break one four bit password and one two bit password because if you know the password that you're trying to use, then you know the checksum, so you can automatically generate the, the last two successfully. Um, so yeah, so so it was a maximum of eight hours that it would take to break into it, and that's if the very last password that you uh, tried to use in the brute force was uh, was the, the right one, right? And uh, to make matters worse, once you are connected through WPS, um, you have full access to the Wi-Fi network, so you can see like what the proper Wi-Fi uh, password is. Like not the not just the WPS key, but you can see what the real password they made is. And if they were dumb enough to then use the same password for everything, which you know a lot of people do do, um, then from there you could get into like their accounts and whatnot. Even if uh, if they made that mistake, so like, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it was a it was a bad thing. Like I said, that's a, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's not great, but yeah, that's the uh, the only hacking I've done in Linux. Um, I mean, I've I've used Linux to whenever I'm working on people's computers to bypass certain Windows restrictions and things like that. But I wouldn't even really call that hacking at the end of the day. It's just you know, Linux doesn't have to. Uh, as long as you don't have a encrypted drive in Windows, Linux doesn't have to obey the rules that, that Windows has set up for file permissions and who can see what and all that BS. So whenever I'm like recovering someone's computer and they want uh, they want files recovered, but I don't have their password for their account or whatever, I'll often use Linux to, to pull off their, you know, their family photos or tax documents or whatever the case may be um and drive recovery tools as well like if somebody has a, a drive that uh was corrupted or or something got accidentally deleted off of or whatever things like that i use those tools in linux a lot but yeah that's why you have complicated passwords you don't even know same same that's i used to use different passwords for everything um but I did it in a way that I could memorize them still. Um, but after a while, with the way that the advancements in, in computer, um, well, specifically graphics cards actually, just meant that that pretty much any password that wasn't super long is just automatically bad. And uh, <laughs> so I started, yeah, just using random strings of mixed characters and uh that's that's really the only way to do it now uh, honestly i i strongly believe in the future where passwords are just gone and we just use uh, either biometrics uh or even better biometrics uh mixed with two-factor authentication for for basically everything because uh yeah otherwise like man their passwords it, it like there was a time when when it was you know commonly believed that we would never be able to in our lifetime crack a a eight to twelve character password 
And it turns out now, with graphics cards being as powerful as they are, that, like, no, if somebody actually wants to break into your 8 to 12 uh, character password, they can totally do that. <laughs> like, and then that's not even, like, taking into account things like supercomputers and whatnot. Um, or uh, uh, distributed computing, right? Because, I mean, it's not that hard to buy, you know, 20 graphics cards and uh, plug them all into computers and, and network them together and then run a uh, distributed computing version of a cracking of cracking software and then yeah like even a normal person with enough willpower can can break into a password with a relatively in a relatively short amount of time now obviously most websites and things have extra protection against brute force attacks specifically things like uh, so many failed attempts in a row will cause uh, the account to be locked and not be accessible by anyone um, that's very common and sadly, most of the time, to get into someone's account, you don't even have to crack their password. You just do, you know, social hacking, basically, man. You just figure out some basic information about them and trick the website or service provider or whatever into thinking that you're them. Um, that's actually, if you, like, the way most hacking happens. That and, like, phishing and, and cross-site sc scripting. I don't know if cross-site scripting attacks are still really a thing. That used to be a big thing, but, uh, yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, facial recognition is becoming huge right now, so that two-factor will be set for at least a few years. <laughs> yeah, the problem with, like, facial recognition, though, right, is that depending on, like, how available you want it to be, that can be pretty easy to crack, too, right? Because, like, if it's not a... Like, say you use a basic camera, a basic phone camera, um... To, to do your, your facial recognition, it doesn't have full depth information. Now, fun fact, most phone cameras can see uh, infrared light if they don't have a infrared filter on the front of it. So they can get some depth information, but not full, right? So just a, high, uh, a decent quality printed picture of someone's face is enough to, to, to trick that. Now, if you have a camera with proper depth information, it becomes a little bit harder because... Um, you have to have, like, a, a mold that's similar to that person's face as well. But, again, in a, uh, let's say, an enterprise setting or, or nations hacking other nations, officials, and things like that, I, it, it's not that hard to, you know, get someone that's really good at working with clay to make a, uh, a replica of that person's face and then put a, a uh, photo over top of that. And then there you go. There's your facial re recognition uh, bypassed. I think facial recognition is nice for convenience, right? Because all you need to do is point your camera or whatever at your face, and uh, there you go, you're unlocked. But I think I think uh, palm and or uh, fingerprint scanning is is more the way of the future, personally. Though, with that said, obviously fingerprints can be beaten as well. But yeah. Anyways, <laughs> we're, we're nerding out about this stuff over here. We completely lost uh, Mr. Noodle in that conversation. She is not a computer person at all. <laughs> she knows how to work her cell phone, kind of. Um, that's about it. <laughs> oh, man. I'm actually, yeah, it's been a long time since I've had the chance to actually talk about any of this stuff, too. Because, uh, like... I don't talk to any of my uh, college friends anymore, really. Uh, like, in passing, when I see them, I'll, I'll say hi and whatnot. But, yeah, I don't really have the chance to talk about it. And then outside of the, the people I went to college with, there's not really that many people that are interested in uh, <laughs> in uh, computer software engineering or, or cybersecurity or just any, any of that stuff, really. But... Yeah, I mean, my brother, one of my brothers does do a little bit of uh, software engineering, but he's he's more just like in it for the basics and for the fun and whatnot. He doesn't do a whole lot of serious programming of any sort. People would get surgery to pass as the person for identity theft itself. I mean, I could see a future where, well, shit, you don't even have to look into the future. There's already people that have gotten surgery to... Uh, 
look as close as possible to their favorite celebrities or whatever, right? Um, things like, uh, like I know there's a, uh, drag queen that does a, a, a mean Britney Spears impersonation. And then, uh, I remember seeing pictures of this dude that got a bunch of surgery to try to look like, uh, Justin Bieber. I don't remember that one going so well. The drag queen was impressive. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that, that's pretty impressive, but the Justin Bieber one, not so much. Um, but yeah, yeah, you could just have, like, normal people trying to break into, like, celebrities' accounts and stuff like that. And that's why I think at the same time, two-factor authentication is always going to be super important. Um, but we have to get better with, uh, we have to get better with two-factor authentication, too, because you can break into SMS fairly easily. And, uh, yeah. Hey, what's up, Canes? It's been a while, man. Nice to see ya. Bieber is bae. I've never been that into Bieber personally. Um, although his music these days has gotten a lot better than it was when he was uh, just getting started. Like, he's got some bops these days. I'm not gonna... <laughs> not gonna lie about that, man. Derek Barry looks just like Brady. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, Derek Barry, it, it's impressive. I don't know how much work they had to have done to look like Britney. Um... But it's it's a one hundred percent passable Britney in my opinion. Like holy shit! You getting flashbacks to baby? Oh no, not baby! <laughs> Chad Michael got surgery to look like chair, but says he regrets it. Really? I don't know if I've ever seen. I don't know if I've ever seen uh, Chad Michael. Derek just looks like Britney. He didn't have any any work done or anything like that. Well, I mean, regardless, yeah, he does a really good job at it, but... I mean, that's the only plane we have, so that's the plane we're gonna pick. How can you regret looking like Cher? I imagine it just didn't go well, I'm assuming. Like... You know what you can't hack? Closed-ended SMS, like Telegram, Russian messaging app. It's possible, maybe not with today's technology, but if there's one thing history has shown us, anything that's not hackable now will be someday. Like, <laughs> so... But yes, yes, end-to-end -end completely uh, encrypted messaging systems are nice, and it's a future that I think we should be going towards. Um, but obviously, governments have a lot of reasons to not want to support that sort of thing. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use all these canyons to infiltrate without detection. I it seems like I can't quite walk onto these dudes. Also, I'm going to freaking die flying into them like that. They've got some freaking shots on them. Holy shit. Uh And they don't want to die. Oh, that's right. We do have a break. We should probably try the, <laughs> to break every once in a while. Don't even get me started in the Russians. I legit learned something absolutely horrible in class. That would be a real possibility right now. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm trying to not look into the whole thing that's going on right now too much. It's absolutely horrible what's going on, obviously. But um, it's depressing as shit. I just don't want to... I just don't want to deal with it, man. I... Yeah. It fucking sucks. Needless to say, it fucking sucks. Game over. That's, uh, <laughs> that went quick. So these cannons are hard, man. So I had to go for a bit. What the hell did I walk into? <laughs> we were talking about, uh, Rue obviously is in college for computer sciences. So we were just, uh, nerding out a little bit on different, uh, security, uh, measures that can easily be broken or, or not so easily be broken and things like that. But... Oh, an EMP burst. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I mean, it would be devastating, an EMP burst, but at the same time, I don't think it would be... Okay, I hope it wouldn't be as devastating as it would have been once upon a time. Um, because, you know, you there are safeguards from it. Things like uh, having things properly Faraday caged or uh, um, just... Uh, doing things like uh having uh important systems be be in uh, lead lined rooms things like that underground cables they have to be depending on the power of the emp yeah 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 
um, they'd have to be pretty deep, but yeah, exactly. Like, there, there's a lot of different safeguards we can take against, uh, EMP, so I would hope that it wouldn't be, I would hope, but, wait, are we not supposed to be trying to destroy these things? Is that what's going on? But anyways, I, I would hope it wouldn't be as, as, uh, terrible as as you know it once would have been and as is commonly believed but i guess uh there's no way to know for sure how well prepared you are until until the the worst case scenario like holy hell how am i supposed to it's saying to use the canyons to avoid detection but like i'm pretty sure they've already detected me oh you did information systems i didn't know that yeah i went for software engineering so not not um like i we did some networking stuff in, in college, and then we also did uh, a bit on like ethical hacking and things like that. But uh, my my major was software engineering, though. Um, and then the college that I went to, we specifically learned mostly about Java, uh, C sharp, and then we also did some some other junk. Uh, what's the COBOL? We had to learn COBOL. Uh, that was like our introduction classes use that just uh, a bunch of different shit but and then we did a lot of uh, web design stuff too like our final project we had to make a, a actual real world website for a client and everything like that so yeah and then oh boy and then a lot of the people here know but uh, i don't know if you know i i work on video games in my my spare time i uh not anything for a commercial release or anything like that yet but hopefully someday that's that's the goal but that's just like a free time sort of thing so like uh yeah it's it's i'm not in a rush to get any of those projects done mostly for fun mutually assured destruction and go against the gang that gives them the most motivation and work i mean i don't know man crazy people are crazy that's how i look at that sort of thing and also, why I'm uh, not really trying to think about it too much, because, yep. Uh, the news is just depressing, so I try not to, uh, <laughs> I try not to pay it no mind whenever I, I don't have to. <laughs> NATO already being involved, yeah. As soon as we get confirmation that they have launched nukes at us, I'm going to my car, I'm going to drive as fast as I can for as long as, yeah. I, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, again, let's hope it doesn't come to that for any of us. Oh, God, I didn't think we were going to make it. Same stream, same, same. I had to calm Sierra down about it yesterday. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's worth worrying too much about. Um, I, I don't personally think it's going to escalate to that, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, how's everyone doing? Nate, I was trying to talk to you earlier, whenever you first got here. I don't remember what it was about now, though. <laughs> I was trying to, I, I either asked you something or was trying to tell you something, but I, I just can't remember what the hell it was now. Ah, it's going to bug the hell out of me, too, because I can't remember. Sorry, something came, oh, no, don't feel bad, man. It's no problem at all. It's, uh... I, like, people got lives, they got stuff they got to take care of and whatnot, I, it's perfectly fine, man. I appreciate everyone that comes to hang out with me while I play video games, but I, I it's not like, none of you owe me anything, though, so. <laughs> was it about Robert Pattinson's ass? No, that was a, uh, topic of conversation there for a while, holy hell, these last two are really getting me. Um, <laughs> that was a topic of conversation there for a while, but no, that's not what I wanted to tell you. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not that into Robert Pattinson, man. He's okay. Like, I don't have any problems with him, but especially, like, that picture, I, uh, I don't really, I don't, <laughs> it's dumb. It, it's just dumb. But, I mean, I'm into dumb stuff, so I can't, like, I can't say anything about, you know, Noodle or... Uh, or Rue here for liking it, but... <laughs> Man, we are so close to death. We only have 5 HP left on our shield. Like, uh, I don't know if this is going to go so well. 
Hey, you pulled another gold Pokemon card? That's sick, man. What'd you, uh, which one? You love your Founder's Badge, though? Hell yeah, dude. I don't know. I forget how many of those get handed out. I think it's the first 10 people to sub get it, right? Like, that, that aren't gift subs. I think is how that works. I remember I was looking at the list the other day. But, uh, sadly, I can't remember off the top of my head now. Okay, we gotta speed up a little bit. Freaking reload. Oh, man. I do not like these ships. <laughs> these ships with their, their things that they shoot out their ass. Come on, just die, bro. Robert Pattinson is a beautiful man. I don't think he's a bad looking man, not at all. Just, uh, I don't think he's anything special either, though. Like, my obsession is Ryan Reynolds and always will be Ryan Reynolds. Um, and then I guess my next biggest obsession would probably be Jason Momoa. Although, Jason Momoa doesn't fit my usual type in men. I, I, like, he's a little more fit than what I would usually prefer uh, in a guy, but there's Jason Momoa. There's just something about him, though, you know? Like, Jason Momoa is a, a sexy man. Ryan Reynolds is better, but Jason Momoa is up there. Like, <laughs> you want it so bad, Rue. Had to look again. No canes. It's a different rarity. It's a gold card. That the, and their secret rares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, like I said, I did pull one secret rare from the newest set. I was pretty happy about that. I wish it wasn't a fire energy, but I mean, <laughs> I'm just glad that I got a secret rare because it's been a long time since I pulled one of them. Granted, I haven't been buying as many cards as I used to because uh, we didn't have the, the money for it there for a while. Nor did we have as much time to play as we used to. Because as much as I like collecting the cards, I, I like to play Pokemon too. So, like, that, that was a big motivation for me to keep buying them was wanting to play them and get better cards and figure out strategies with them and shit like that. Okay, so I think we're going to get this dude without dying. But that still leaves the next one we got to get. So, <laughs> hey, there's one down. Okay, and it seems like every time we kill something, we get more shield back. So we're actually in a better spot now to take down the second dude. So that's a good sign. Love him, he can marry me next. What? Who's marrying him first? <laughs> or do you mean he can marry you after me? I'm confused. <laughs> Celebrity Accessions, Chris, Chris Motionless right here. Is that... Who's Chris Motionless? The name sounds familiar. Is that that, uh... The band that you that you told me about? Nine... Nine... I, ice kill... Ice kills? Nine... I don't know. <laughs> feel like I'm getting uh, Nine Inch Nails and someone else mixed up. Ice Nine Kills. Was that it? More fit? You like smaller guys? Uh... Yeah, like... Both men and women, I prefer softer features... Um, in men, I do prefer some toning, um, but I, I still prefer softer features over a lot of muscle. I just feel that he's he's too fit for 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 what I personally prefer. Although I think the reason why he gets such a, a pass for me though is the the hair and the beard. I think is what it is for for Jason Momoa. I like the I like that that lumberjack feel he's got going on. <laughs> Motionless in white. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Chris motionless, motionless in white. That, uh... Oh, oh, okay. The game just randomly, like, froze up there. That was weird. But... So I went to school with just shared a picture of meeting him at Warp 2020. I don't know who it was at the time. Now they're kicking their own ass. <laughs> oh, no. I copy, ghost leader. Abort they had these the tins at the shop. It was three for 35. Got nine packs all together and new tins. Hey, that's sick. I can be his next wife. Oh, I just love skinny boys. <laughs> uh, I think you'll fit right in with Noodle then. <laughs> Noodle Noodle likes uh, skinny emo boys is her usual preferred type. Uh, which isn't me at all. <laughs> we, uh, that's all right. Me and her don't really match up for like what our, our individual types are. Like, uh, we, we have some features of our individual types, obviously, but, uh, yeah, we're not exactly either one's type, because <laughs> I'm definitely not a skinny emo boy, 
but she does seem to like beards, and I think she prefers long hair, yeah? And I have long hair. Um, so, I mean, like, I got that going for me, at least. <laughs> I adore all people, so the skinnier the emo boy girl, the happier I am. But I don't mind a nice set of muscles on a girl, either. See, I'm just not into it. Like, like I said, on men or women, but I, I prefer women... Um, or feminine types, I guess, is what I should say. Yeah, because whatever gender they want to identify as. Uh, I prefer feminine types a little bit softer than I prefer masculine types. Um, but I, I like a little bit of soft on both of them, you know? Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> you do like longer hair. I thought you did, but, you know, sometimes it's hard to keep track. <laughs> My God, have I ever told you guys about the time that I had to cut my beard for work? Noodle was in bed. I think she was already asleep. At the very least, she was half asleep. And uh, I had to trim my beard down because I, I was a manager at a deli at the time. So I had to keep a, a short beard. So I trimmed it short. Like, didn't cut it completely off, but I trimmed it really short. And then I went to go get in bed. And she, like, woke up a little bit. And as soon as she looked at me, she started crying. Like, just straight up crying. <laughs> like, it was terrible. Gonna use the tea tins for tea bags? That's actually a great idea, man. I might know the tins you're talking about. But yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Pokemon tea tin bags? Tin tea bags? Tea no, tea tin. Tin tea bags. Tin tea bag holder. Sure, whatever. There's just one that comes into work sometimes. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. I think you showed them to me before. I do not find them attractive at all. <laughs> you had to cut your beard, sadness? Yeah, I mean, like, we were allowed to have beards in the deli, but it had to be under... It was either an inch or, or like, uh, maybe, maybe two inches. I don't remember exactly. But it had to be on the shorter side, and then we had to wear a, uh, a beard net for, for hair reasons. You know, I, I, it's fine. You don't want to get... Hair in people's food. I totally get it. Um, at least I didn't have to cut my hair, though. Like, that would have been... That would have been actually devastating. Because I've, I've trimmed my beard multiple Apparently times over the... You know, since I started growing it out. But I, I've only ever had a couple inches of my hair cut off at a time since I started growing it out. Like, my hair's been super long for a long time. Also, not more cannons. We are screwed. <laughs> ah, fuck! <laughs> THC card at work, so all the cute boys want to chill now. <laughs> They're just using you for your THC. There's a new one now, says Noodle. Okay. So not the one that you showed me that I did not find attractive at all? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm straight, by the way. I don't know if anybody uh, knows that or not. The only reason I bring it up is because there's this girl at work and me and her were talking one day and it was about types and stuff a lot like we're talking about now and uh the the subject of sexuality came up and i brought up the fact that i actually am like straight she straight up would not believe me i was like really i am i i like i know what i find attractive in men and i'm very comfortable with my sexuality so i don't mind talking about it or anything like that but like i am not actually sexually attracted to men like it, it's just I'm just not and she would not believe me like at all <laughs> like, Just absolutely refuse to believe the fact <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> It just had me laughing man because she was like yeah, I used to say that too, but you know what? <laughs> Turns out I'm bi and I'm like, okay, that's fine, but like I'm not like <laughs> No, not him your co-worker finds him cruise too. Yeah <laughs> So there's a new one that your does your coworker find him gross? Because I feel like me and your coworker kind of got the uh, the similar taste there, in that whole department. And she's your type, just skinny. It's true, like she's not wrong. She is. I told her that one day. She was red faced as hell when I told her that. It was hilarious. She got so embarrassed, man. I'm the type like I don't get embarrassed easily. I've brought that up before, so I had no problem. I was just like. So this is going to be a little weird. I apologize in advance, but my type is, and then basically just, uh, <laughs> basically just described her, um, minus the, yeah, she's, she's a really skinny girl. And, uh, I, like I said, I prefer, I prefer soft girls. 
Men being able to compliment men without it being mistaken for sexuality. Yeah, I mean, I don't care if people think I'm gay. Me and this, uh, or bi or whatever, me and a guy that whose sexuality I always question, uh, we used to walk around the store holding hands and shit before just because the looks we would get from people were hilarious. Like, people would get so mad about two men holding each other's hands. And I thought it was hilarious, so I would do that. And then uh, we were doing that one day, and a girl that we both knew um, looked at us. She didn't look at us, like, disgustingly or anything, but just kind of looked at us for a second, like, wait, what? And uh, so we stopped, and I was like, oh, no worries. This isn't what it looks like. Uh, I'm purely with him for for the sex. And uh, she just... <laughs> she just... was. <laughs> really confused man just kind of stared at us for a bit like she always misses the new one oh so she hasn't actually seen the new one yet okay okay well once she does you'll have to let me know what she thinks because like i said i feel like i feel like we're on the same wa wavelength there <laughs> i mean too skinny like what is that like malnourished yeah that's bad well obviously yeah i think malnourished is bad but no, I'm, I'm talking purely from a preferential thing um, I, I don't want anybody to think that being one or the other is a bad thing, right? Like, whether you're you're skinny or got extra meat or whatever, that's perfectly fine. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, just to be 100% clear with everybody. But, as far as my personal preference goes, um, my quote-unquote type, it's just, I, I like, um... Just, just girls with meat on their bones, I guess. Like, there's not an exact size or anything like that. It's just, you know, I, I prefer there not to be much muscle definition there. Um, I, I prefer a little bit of a belly and, uh, like, thicker thighs. You know, things like that. That's all. Oh, you were asking them what is too skinny? <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know what their cutoff point is. <laughs> Some of the ones that Noodle is into, I, I would call uh, looking a little malnourished. But I mean, maybe I'm biased. <laughs> Nate said, I don't care really either. Me and the guy that gave you cards did the same and pretend to be married and argue about a garden. <laughs> That's great, man. That's great. That's what I want to do. Is just sit down and argue about a garden with somebody. <laughs> oh... Uh, Mount Nourish is too skinny. Yes, yes. Thick thighs save lives. I'm here for it, man. So that's my preference. But again, I don't want anyone to feel left out because uh, owl bodies are good bodies. There's a limit, and it's when I see ribs. That's a good limit, in my opinion. But you don't mind chubby peeps, though? Like, I am not supposed to be attracted to someone like Queen Latifah or Gabriel. I don't know who Gabriel is, but Queen Latifah, hell yeah. I mean, there is a border that I try not to cross that's unhealthy, but there's also more to cuddle with. If you're naturally skinny, I'm all for it. Yeah, and I think that goes both ways, honestly, you know? Like, even though I prefer soft, chubby, little bit larger people. Oh, Gabriel Iglesias. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gabriel Iglesias is awesome. Uh, he's fluffy, though. So, like, come on. Uh, but anyways. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no. I think any time that it becomes a health issue... You should, you should seek to do something about it. Um, but it's, uh, otherwise, like I said, man, you do you. Like, as long, just be comfortable in your skin. I was going to say as long as you're comfortable in your skin. But, like, some people, like, there's a, there's a girl that I work with who, who's always going on and on about not being fit enough and needing to lose weight and all this stuff. And it's like, dude, you are, you're fine. Like, I, I promise you. You really don't need to at all. And she just, like, brings herself down about it all the time. And I, I wish they wouldn't because, like, bruh. <laughs> like, it's perfectly fine, you know? Like, she's had a kid and everything else. Like, dude, just just chill. But, uh, people, though. So am I. <laughs> I feel like a size queen, but not that kind of size queen. Oh, no. <laughs> and then Gary from TikTok is in the league on his own. I'm not that into Gary, though. Gary is the one that you showed me, like, the first time, right? Like, I'm not that into to Gary, but... Oh, you have hypothyroidism? That's tough, Rue. That's tough. Yeah, I mean, I could stand to lose a little bit as well. I've always been a little bit bigger myself, too. Um, I'm a, I'm a mix. Like, I guess you would say I have a dad bod, really, right? Like, I, I have... My manager at work calls them bowling ball arms. 
Um, <laughs> although he exaggerates, they're not that big. But like, I, I do have muscle, but I do also have quite a. I do have a stomach on me as well and whatnot. Like, I could stand to lose some weight, but I, I don't worry about it that much. Though, like I was saying, I think we all just need to, unless it's a health issue. I think we all just need to learn to be more comfortable with the skin that we're in. That's kind of how I feel about that. We legit walked around in the lawn garden. We're talking about flowers and such. And next thing you know, we started getting looks and it just clicked. We were like, time to screw with everyone. Yes. <laughs> so you're Vin Diesel then? No. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm on the same level as Vin Diesel. Not even close. Uh, but <laughs> like, I, I, have, I have more cushion than Vin Diesel does for sure. <laughs> like if Vin Diesel put on, you know, like 30 pounds, 40 pounds, something like that and lost a bit of muscle, then maybe, like, maybe. And yes, uh, Noodle has a thing for arms. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, Twitch is about to make me run an ad in 30 seconds. So uh, we're going to take a quick break. It's just going to be for like a minute and a half, two minutes while I stand up, get a drink, and do all that stuff, and let this ad play out so that nobody who may be watching that's not subscribed isn't forced to to watch ads while I'm, while I'm chatting with y'all or, or playing the game or whatever. So we're going to do that, and then we'll be right back. I'm not sure, but either way, it is freaking satisfying as hell, and I love it. Oh, okay, well, I mean, it wasn't a very satisfying jump there, but we made it at least. Alright, so, okay, well, I guess we already had it. it. It kept it collected after last time, that's fair. Let's see what we unlock, though. She was on cartoons and such also, DuckTales, Powerpuff Girls, and others as well. Oh, yeah, well, then, I mean, I've seen all of that shit, so. We got ship skin. Oh, cool. What do we got? We got Rebel, Galactic Ranger, and Default. So, I'm guessing Rebel's the red one, Galactic Ranger's the, like, bluish one. I think I think we'll do the, the Rebel, the, like, uh, torn up red one. That sounds cool to me. Yeah, that looks pretty slick. I like it. We'll keep that for now. I don't know yet what we're going to play after this game. One thing about Ratchet and Clank games, they're not usually too long. So I don't expect it to, to take a super long time to finish it. So I have no idea what we're going to play after this, though. You know? Something on the PS2. I, I'm definitely doing a PS2 game next. Considering, you know, that is kind of the focus of the, the channel at this point in time. But, I don't know what game. Could do, I mean, we had a lot of fun with DMC the other day, even though I kind of suck at it. I'm, I'm tempted to do, and honestly what we might end up doing, is uh, the, the Crash game. Even though, like... I had a lot of issues with it, but at the same time, I ever since I played it, I've been wanting to play more of it, too. So I don't really know what's up with that, but, like, I like it, but I don't like it at the same time. It's weird. Invisible walls are trash. Maybe DMC? Yeah, maybe. Like I said, I haven't actually decided yet. I might just leave it up to the fates. My, my tool that I made to randomly select games for me to play can also do games for me to complete like that's an option that i set up on there as well so we might just leave it up to fate but i don't know man one of the reasons why i'm thinking maybe crash bandicoot too is because it's another kind of like ratchet and clank you know it's another uh, relatively short game so i think that wouldn't be a bad option just to get through one get it done and off the line all right we are back uh, Dwayne Johnson, not bad, not bad, not my favorite. Uh, Terry Crews, though, because not only is he just an amazing person, but, like, funny as hell, too. Like, I'm there for, for, uh, Terry Crews. That man, that man is sexy. Even though, again, not my body type, but his personality totally does it for me. Like, <laughs> yeah, I actually... So I, I smoked, I started smoking cigarettes at a very young age, sadly. Um, but thankfully, I have been able to quit. I haven't had a cigarette in like five, six years or something like that. And don't plan on going back. But I totally sympathize with people that do smoke. Like, that was my saving grace for a long time. I, uh, I yeah, I there's times I honestly don't know I would have made it through 
without cigarettes, man. Like, <laughs> that was the only time I felt like I had to myself to kind of calm down, to chill, to just let out all my stress and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, but now that I've quit, like, I, I, it, it bugs me, the smell of them and whatnot really bugs me now. But I totally, like I said, I sympathize for it. It's, it's rough. Um, it's rough getting off and it, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not a healthy way to deal with stress and whatnot, but I can't talk shit because I used it as a uh, coping mechanism for a long ass time. Pot too, although I don't smoke pot anymore either, but yeah. And, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pro legalization though too, so you know. <laughs> Jaden Smith, Jackson Mahomes. Yeah, not really my type. I don't know who Jackson Mahomes is either, but not really my type on the, the Jaden Smith thing. Trey Cyrus, again, not my type, man. He's, uh, I mean, he's the definition of, like, a skinny emo boy. <laughs> oh, you got a bunch of smart lights? Yes. We only have the one right now, but we, I want to get more. Um, because I, I love the, the smart lights too, man. The only problem with the one we have is it's already, like, dying. <laughs> not like, like, it, it works, but if we turn it up to max brightness, it, like, flickers a little bit. Um, but at the same time, the, the power in our house is uh, like garbage as well like it's just not wired well i feel like so yeah it's uh that could be part of the problem like our downstairs lamp or light for the the dining room doesn't even work anymore um like we had to just buy a lamp and put in there because can't use it like at all and it used to uh con like it would blow out light bulbs down there constantly we had to replace them. It didn't matter if they were regular light bulbs, if they were LEDs, if they were uh, uh, CFLs or, or what's the other one? Halogen or whatever. Like, yeah, it just kept blowing them. And then one day it just stopped working. So, <sighs> oh, well, you've been exposed to it so much in your life that you're surprised you haven't developed lung cancer from secondhand. So it caused such a hate in me. I can't even touch the damn boxes without wanting to burn my skin off. Yeah, I mean, I don't have that level of hatred for it. That's for sure. But you know it's weird like when I was when I was young I uh, I had asthma and I would get migraines all the time and whatnot and uh, cigarettes seemed to be a bit of a trigger for that and I hated the smell of cigarettes when I was a kid too absolutely despised it um, but then you know life started coming and it didn't stop coming and uh, cigarettes turned into like I said a, a coping mechanism mechanism for me and uh when i was like 13 years old i started smoking pretty regularly i started smoking when i was like 12. um but then like i said around 13 it became you know like a, a regular thing you know where i'd smoke at least like a half a pack a day of cigarettes and then uh yeah it took took a long time to quit but like i said roughly six years ago or so uh five six years ago i i had my last cigarette hopefully forever that's, uh, <laughs> fingers crossed, man. Noodle needs light. Noodle has night blindness, so yes. <laughs> Noodle does need light. This is true. <laughs> He's buffed out a bit now. Wait, who? Trace? Cyrus? Or whatever? Trey? Trey or Trace? Whatever his name is, yeah. Uh, we're gonna get hit. Nope. Dodged it. Josh Katz is amazingly hot. I don't know who that is either. The name sounds a little familiar, but I don't know who that is. No, you got a rental like me, but you may want to check the wiring. Yeah, I mean, it beats checked, I'm, so, I'm sure, but with it being a rental, there's not shit I can do. I mean, like, sure, I could technically pay someone to come in and check it, but it, I couldn't have it all replaced without the landlord's permission. And, uh, like, if the landlord didn't want to pay to have someone to come out and check, I'd be stuck with that bill for nothing if they didn't want to, to pay for someone to get it replaced. Because I'm damn sure not going to pay to have the entire wiring replaced in a house that's not mine. Like, that I don't own. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't even see the point. But I did make that a priority. Like, whenever uh, Noodle and I were looking at a place a while back, like, I told her, like, we're going to have to have all of the wiring redone in this place. Like, we're going to have to have it all checked out. And most of it's probably going to have to be redone. Because, like, I'm not dealing with these kind of problems or risking my electronics because you know i have a fairly expensive computer and shit and uh and obviously all my retro consoles and all that and i don't want to risk something frying because of the the piss poor wiring that we would have in that house like 
You don't know who Josh is either. Lead singer Bad Flower. I don't know if I know that band, to be honest with you. It sounds vaguely familiar. But I'm not sure if... Oh, we ran out of ammo. <laughs> May have, I'm not sure if I'm just, like, mixing it up with another band. With, like, a similar name or something, maybe? I'm not sure. Skinny emo boy? Okay. <laughs> then we already know it's not my type. <laughs> you may have to Google him. <laughs> you got uh, Noodle Thurston for someone new now, probably. <laughs> Hotter when they were younger. <laughs> Say, man, it's one of the reasons I'm willing to take a semi-gutted house if I come across a decent one again. My life goal, honestly, would be to build a small home. Because, like, Noodle and I plan on having a kid someday. But, like, neither one of us are sure when or if that's really going to happen. Um, but I really, really want a tiny home. Not, like, a tiny, tiny home, but a small home, man. Like, all I really want in a house is a decent-sized kitchen. That's the one thing that I do want to be big. An office space for me, but it doesn't need to be huge. Uh, a bedroom. And that's about it. Like, I don't care about having an entire living room space. Like, I'll, I'll put a, a couch at the end of my bed, a, a low-lying couch at the end of my bed, and then just use the TV and bedroom as a, a living room if I ever have, you know, the two or three people that I ever want to actually hang out with come over. I just use that, like double it up, <laughs> like, uh, um, and then like, like I said, I do want a decent sized kitchen because I like to cook and cooking in a tiny kit, tiny kitchen is a, 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 a giant pain in the house, pain in the house, pain in the ass. But like, I don't know. I, I don't like really big houses. Like I honestly, the house I live in now, I feel like is way too large for me, but <laughs> But Noodle doesn't quite feel the same way as me, so a house roughly the size of what we have now, I guess, is the best compromise we can really uh, uh, get into. Like, it, it's it's large enough for her and all of her stuff, and then uh, it, it's small enough for me that it's not, like, completely overwhelming. Although sometimes all of the stuff is a bit overwhelming for me. Both, I mean, I'm part of the problem there now that I'm collecting PS2 games and shit. Like, I have entirely too much stuff these days, I feel like, too. And, uh, it kills me, man. You don't meet people who are attracted to the same thing you are, so this is great. <laughs> are we singing Black Parade? Ne Noodle needs room to roam. Yeah. See, Noodle likes space. I like, like, if it was just me, if I lived alone in this terrible hypothetical future that uh <laughs> that we're talking about right now but if i lived alone i would probably have like one of those economy apartments or whatever where like the entire apartment is just a a kitchen a bathroom and a bedroom and that's the entire apartment like that's probably what i would have honestly um but yeah no what was i i guess what i was trying to lead into is my life goal someday is to build a a small house like that man with uh like proper like internet connections all throughout the house um things wired up for all of my electronics like like electrical outlets and all of the right places to be able to plug in my computers and game consoles and my home server and all that bs like like yeah well basically it is basically the kitchen is twice as big as the rest of the house combined that's essentially what i want yeah yeah you got it right on the nose there man <laughs> noodle had the biggest crush on gerard I've never found Gerard particularly attractive. He's better than most of the people that you find attractive, though. But did you have a crush on him because you found him attractive or because of his music and shit, though? I guess that's the real question here. Still do. Bro, you remember how small my room is? I want more space. <laughs> See, I, uh, I mean, I grew up in pretty small homes and whatnot. And then when I was a teenager in... Uh, kind of living on my own. My room was literally just large enough to walk into. And then you had a couch. Like, you would walk in and turn, and there was just a path that led to a couch. And then the rest of it was just, like, shelving space for all of my stuff and my mini fridge and all that sort of stuff. Like, yeah. That's, uh, that's the sort of thing I'm into, man. Just, just tiny little tight spaces. I'm into it, like... When it comes to rooms, I honestly wouldn't mind having four. 
They don't have to be big, just with kids, all rooms, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why, like, I brought up the whole, our, our plan in the future for kids. Because I definitely understand that having kids would change things. Um, because if, if we had kids, I would want, like, whatever house we do end up getting, I would want at least probably three bedrooms, right? One for myself and uh, Noodle um, to share. And then one for our kid. And then if we only had one and then one for my office for the for the streaming and all that stuff and then like noodle and i could even share that space so she could have somewhere private to do like her makeup and all that shit or whatever um and then if we didn't have a kid i could have my office space and then she could have her own like makeup slushy room or whatever um and then if we have two kids then well i guess the office space has got to go and i'm going to be streaming from the bedroom again uh because yeah I, I would want the two kids to have their own rooms each for sure also we have this that we like never use i guess we could like maybe do something with it maybe if i could get somebody in the freaking viewfinder here come on what the hell that special weapon was not that hard to use before little xan my god i feel like little xan would be someone that uh noodle's sister is into more than Noodle themselves. Although I could be wrong. Noodle could be really into Lil Xan. <laughs> but if it was just me, as I said before, could legit be happy with a car or a shed with a nice bathroom attached? Yeah, I mean, I've also thought about doing the whole van life thing. I think that would be fun. The only problem I would have with doing the van life thing would be the, the cooking space. Not having any space for to cook my meals like <laughs> what do you mean you can't shake them all you gotta do is spin just do the spins man no Lil Xan for you do you feel like your sister would be into Lil Xan because I feel like your sister would be into Lil Xan noodle it was so hot wait what <laughs> oh, do you mean the bedroom was so hot? Both? I'm confused. I feel like I missed a, a message or a misread something in there somewhere. Oh, your sister likes femboys these days? Okay. Didn't know that. Never mind. <laughs> I do want my main coon first. Main coon before children. Got it. Femboys are also fire. Uh, da, 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 da. She likes pretty boys. Face tattoos kill it for me, but he is attractive. I feel like that's a pretty fair thing. Speaking of, uh, I saw a tattoo artist at work today that was showing me some of his portfolio. I really like his work. Um, noodle, I had to tell you about him sometime. He's new to the area, so he doesn't have like a, a actual place to to do the the art at yet here in town but he's uh he's trying to get into uh, a tattoo parlor so yeah think sam from danny phantom wait sam what was the girl's name from danny phantom was it sam or was that the the guy from danny phantom i don't remember oh yes <laughs> That's her girl type, haha. Huh? Okay, okay. So Sam was the girl. Okay, I mean fair. And then uh, what was her name? She Shigo? Was it Shigo from uh, Kim Possible? And that was the one with like the the black and green hair, right? It's been a long time since I've watched these shows, so uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't, but I want some. I don't have any yet. So, but again, like I was saying, I was talking to that tattoo artist. And the reason why I was talking to him specifically is because I saw some of his art. So I was curious, like, if he did work around here or anything. Because I do want some. I just have no idea what the hell I would get. Like, like I, I, I think they're cool. But, man, I just can't think of what I want on my body, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> so then I just end up never really getting one or, or looking into it or even going to a shop or anything. Because I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck to get. Hex Girls? Who is this person? From Scooby-Doo. You've never heard of the Hex Girls? I don't know if the Hex Girls did anything outside of Scooby-Doo, but 
they were in Scooby-Doo. That's all that's important. Like, <laughs> get words, that's what I do. Yeah, I mean, and I've thought of that, like, uh, something for my, my grandpa and great-grandpa basically raised me. I don't know who all here knows that about me. Um, but I've thought about getting something like a memorial to them of some sort. But even then, like, I don't necessarily know what I would get. I just need to, one of these days, I just need to, like, sit down and actually, like, give it a good long think. Oh, did I misread what you were saying? Uh, Rue? I thought it was weird, because I figured you would know who the Hex Girls are, given, you know, that uh, we've talked about our love for Scooby-Doo, but, uh... <laughs> Think they want to meet late? <laughs> Get her into the stream one day for you, Rue. Oh, God. She has been in one or two streams before, just, uh... Not, not for, like, any extended period of time, though. Harley Quinn. Diamonds or Scooby-Doo dog tag? Hell yeah. Harley Quinn is psychotic, but, like, sometimes she can be bae. Like, that's for sure. My face? You need my face? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so I feel like sometimes I miss messages and it just makes the whole chat make no sense. <laughs> Getting the Assassin's Creed symbol tatted on March 8th? Hell yeah, dude. See, like, I sh as much as I love video games, I you would think I would get something like that. Like, maybe the Triforce from Legend of Zelda or, like, the Heartless symbol or something from Kingdom Hearts would make a lot of sense for me. Or, uh, like, the, the, uh, uh, Cloud Sword from Final Fantasy VII, uh, or Zack Sword, if you want to look at it that way. Anyways, point is, like, something like that from a video game would make a lot of sense for me, but I, I don't know. I'm indecisive as shit, too, so that doesn't help anything. Oh, she loves Harley Quinn, your sister? My face as your tattoo to <laughs> keep gross girls away from you. <laughs> oh, Lord. Love you, Noodle. Noodle is jealous. Like, she's the jealous type for sure. I am not the jealous type, but she 100% is, in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> Stream redeem. What are we redeeming? What do we do? Suggest a poll. Rue's first tattoo. What are the, uh, what are the options? For Rue's first tattoo. We can do a poll. Bandage poll. New poll. Rue's first tattoo. First tattoo. What are the options though, Rue? What sort of things are you uh are you interested in getting tattooed on your body? How do you feel about law enforcement? It's not just because the game. I also really enjoy the deeper meaning of nothing is true, everything is permitted. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, we all live in a simulation. So yeah, you know, why not? <laughs> FTP, which was also Kane's first tattoo. Harley Quinn, Diamond, Scooby-Doo, Tag, or Dragon Age tattoo. Oh, do Kane too? FTP. Okay, so... We got, we'll just do Harley Quinn. So we'll do Harley Quinn. We'll do Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. Dragon Age. And then FTP. Are those what you want as the options then? We got Harley Quinn, Scooby-Doo, Dragon Age, FTP. Do I hit submit? Oh, I thought you meant file transfer protocol. <laughs> no, I know what you meant. <laughs> oh, no. All right, it'll go for uh, how much longer do I have? I only have 15 minutes left, so it'll be a 10 minute poll, I guess. And then uh, we'll see what the results are at the end of the 10 minutes. That's what I thought too, actually. <laughs> I was joking. I <laughs> but yeah, sure. I mean, why not? We can do FTP. <laughs> oh, no. 
I've have thought about like getting code tattooed onto my body, uh, just like something something simple, like uh, like if something, then you know call this function sort of deal. Like I've seen different text posts like that before, and, and uh, I, I don't know if I would call them memes, but memes like that, and uh, some of them can be cute sometimes. Uh, so I've thought about like doing something like that. Binary high five, yeah, yeah, something like that would be fine. Or, uh, or like 10.0, uh, or 127.0.0.1, something like that, I think would be fun to get, uh, tattooed. Um, you could even do, like, no place like 127.0.0.1, right? Something like that, I think, would be fun to get done, too. Just, <laughs> the problem is that, like, nobody, nobody would know what the hell. <laughs> I'm talking about is the problem like Kind of want to do the binary from bender. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 Hey, you cracked the hash nice What ended up being uh What ended up being the final straw like what 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 did it for you? Did you just have to google it do some good google foo or uh Did you finally figure out the instructions that your instructor tried to give to you? From futurama. Oh, I know what you're talking about I don't remember exactly what it meant or anything like that, but uh, as I've mentioned before, I freaking love Futurama, so yes. Oh, it was just taking a long ass time to actually crack the bastard and it didn't tell me that. Oh, well, nice. <laughs> so you were doing it right all along. It was just taking forever. Okay, that works, man. Shit, so you weren't even doing anything wrong. See, uh, that's like... That's bad UI design, <laughs> right? Like, there should always be something to let the end user know that things are still progressing and still working, and that things just haven't completely locked up. I understand why a lot of tools don't have that in there, because in order to include that sort of thing, you have to have... Uh, you either have to sacrifice performance on whatever the task is at hand to constantly interrupt it, and let something else happen, like to let the user know, or you have to multi-thread it, um, one or the other. And I mean, a, a obviously, hey, just multi-thread it is a common thing that people like to think whenever they're talking about making programs run better or whatever. But obviously, it's not actually as easy as yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just multi-thread this bitch. Like, yeah, <laughs> it takes more work than that. <laughs> Right? Give, give me a fucking timer at least. Exactly. It said boo. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Which, don't get me wrong, it is basic principle of light, but as someone that has felt many times things were out of their control, it's a simple logo that gives me a deeper reminder of something important. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? Um, the, uh, the semicolon. I did seriously consider um, getting the semicolon, and I would still, I think, like to get the semicolon uh, tattoo at some point, because... I, uh, I do really like the meaning behind that, you know, the whole... As someone who has almost ended their life before, um, you know, I, I feel the message behind that. So, I've been told that when you get arrested with three anti-law enforcement tats in your arms, that you get treated like shit when you get arrested. I, yeah, I can see that being a thing. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't put it past, uh, past people, that's for sure. Stream, did you see they announced a new Mario Switch Sports? Yeah, I did. The, uh, uh, Mario Strikers, right? I'm super excited for Mario Strikers. I haven't played, what, the last one was on GameCube, right? The last Mario Strikers? Holy shit. But yeah, no, it looks really cool, man. I definitely do want to, uh, play it when it comes out. That's why I wish I had more time to stream in general. Because I really want to do, like, one day a week having, like, a Nintendo day or something like that. But my main goal right now is getting through the entire PlayStation 2 library collecting and, uh... Oh, I, I'm sorry. I thought you said Mario. I might have misread your message. But, uh, yeah, I saw that one as well. And that's also exciting. Because, uh, Wii Sports obviously was a lot of fun. I played a shit ton of bowling. Like, <laughs> But, uh, Nintendo, whether, whether Mario Strikers or, I don't know what they're calling this one. Are they just calling it Switch Sports? Regardless, either way, yes, I'm here for it, man. Nintendo Switch Sports. I like that idea, Nate. Maybe we can all make our own semicolons. Wait. 
You missed the first part of that message, I think. Well, and yeah, that's one I've thought of many times. That is essentially my semicolon. Okay. What was uh what was the first part of the message? What was the first part of the message? The actual speech uh, Ezio gives about, or yeah, goes into basically you are the architect of your own life and responsible for your choices, whether it brings great success or great tragedy. Ooh, okay. I see, I see. You just resent it. Well, it's too late. I already scrolled up and found it. <laughs> no, thank you though for trying to help out. Who hasn't voted in the poll? I know, I mean, obviously Rue hasn't because I don't think Rue can vote on their their own poll uh my vote because i can't vote in it either so my vote will go to i mean i'm a huge scooby-doo person so i think my vote's gonna have to go to scooby-doo just so before the poll actually ends everybody just needs to know that that's where my vote's going um hey thank you for the bits noodle i appreciate it love I mean, we all know I love Scooby-Doo, so, yeah. <laughs> Anybody else? Noodle voted. I'm, uh, I'm guessing Kane's voted. Did you vote, Nate? Everybody needs to vote. Tell Rue what to get. When they announced an online playtest to analyze various technical aspects, that's the coolest way to say testing I've ever heard. Nice. So Kane's voted. Noodle tith voted. Uh, so that just leaves... I guess Nate's the only other person, like, for sure... Uh, participating. I don't know if anybody else is here and just kind of chilling in the background, but uh, if you are a random person chilling in the background, uh, you're welcome to vote too, man. Like, <laughs> it says there's three. So that's Noodle, Canes, Nate, and Rue can't vote. I can't vote. So yeah, so that's, that's probably everybody then. Okay. Okay. I mean, we still got a, uh, I don't know what, three minutes left, I think, on the poll. So we'll wait until the timer runs out. But again, my vote is going to be on Scooby-Doo. So my vote won't show up on the poll, but that's that's where I'm going. That's why this is mine, because although I love the semicolon, it just don't hit the right chord for me personally when I need the help. That's perfectly fair. I get that. Um, yeah, but the, the semicolon for me, I think, is a is a good fit. I also, I, I did really want to get the, uh, I do really, or I had an idea for, um, cause like I'm all, I'm also really into Pokemon as I've mentioned before on here and, uh, I'm, you know, a bit of a bigger guy myself and, but my grandpa, he was, he was a big dude. Um, but we, we used to go to this specific spot, um, every Sunday or almost every Sunday uh, after church to eat lunch together. And, uh, it, it was a spot by, by a river and we used to, uh, sit in his, in his vehicle and we would watch the river and the people like out on their boats and everything. And, uh, we would eat our lunch together and I would love to, I, I don't know of like, I don't know if I trust anybody to put this on my body. Um, but that's, that's what I would want is kind of like a, a scene so it doesn't have to be the exact same river or anything, but something similar to the scene from that spot in the river. And then what I was thinking, there was a big tree on its own. Like, there were woods on one side, but then there was this random big tree. And I was thinking of having, like, uh, Snorlax and Munchlax uh, sitting together under the tree, eating some food. Um, the Snorlax being for my grandpa and, you know, the Munchlax being the younger me. And uh, that's something that I did always kind of want to get it's the one like solid idea for a tattoo that i really that i really fell in love with but again i don't know if i trust anybody to <laughs> tattoo that on my body though that's the only problem plus it's like such a specific thing with the 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 art and everything too i guess like if there was somebody who was able to do a uh art from like the pokemon anime pretty well i would be pretty happy with that sort of style right um, and then just have it, like I said, like, kind of into the, the river thing and whatnot. But, okay, Rue's first tattoo, the votes are in, it's Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Scooby-Doo was the winner without my vote, with two votes. Um, and then we had FTP as, as the other one there. So, 
There we go. You gotta, you gotta do it. <laughs> That's what you gotta get now. It's Scooby-Doo for the win. Do it. <laughs> Although, with your background though, like, Rue's second tattoo, my vote goes to FTP. Because, like, with your background in uh, computer technologies and everything like that, or information uh, systems, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, anyways, I, FTP would be funny because of the whole file transfer protocol versus, you know, fuck the police. So, that, uh, that if we ever do this poll again, that's just a heads up where my vote's going. Right there. FTP. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh. Also, Noodle Day Hot. Now, what did I miss? Who are you guys thirsting over now? Uh, Rue, I don't know if you watch them, but another one of your sister's crushes is Hawk Hates You. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen that one. I don't know if you've ever shown it to me. Oh, boy. It was a good night. I appreciate you all uh, coming out and hanging out with me and whatnot. I had fun. The game's not too bad. And, uh... And obviously, I, I have fun just chilling and hanging out and talking with y'all. So, like, that's... Ugh. God. My throat. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. Thank you, guys. I do appreciate y'all here. She's cute. I think you might have sent me the wrong one, though. It said a Discord robot dance. Oh. <laughs> I stand by my judgment. Her main got banned. Oh. I mean, she's got a cute face, at least. I'm not gonna, like... Look through all her pictures. Uh, why are one of these, like, censored? Does she also do an SFW work or something like that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't... Uh, yeah, she does? Okay, okay. Because I just, like, Googled it and then just clicked images. And then I scrolled down a tiny bit and then one of them just had a giant black bar across the front of it. And I'm like, what? I'm a little... I'm a little confused. <laughs> I gotta follow now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Lord. Alrighty, guys. Look, everyone gotta chase that bread. Oh, no, I'm not saying anything about that, man. No issues with that here at all. You do you, bro. And my way of looking at it, honestly, is if people want to pay to see you naked and you're comfortable with people seeing you naked, then, like, why not, you know? Like, <laughs> like it just makes sense. <laughs> I don't see any reason not to at that point. But, all right, guys. Thank you again one more time for coming out with me, uh, or coming to hang out with me, whatever. <laughs> I appreciate you all being here. Rue, Canes, Noodle, Nate, uh, the usual crowd here. I appreciate you all. And uh, what are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow is Saturday. So tomorrow we'll be playing some DMC, probably finishing it up. Uh, maybe not, though. I guess we'll find out. But I, I got a good feeling that we will. And then Sunday night... We might, we're probably going to have to cancel the podcast Sunday night. Um, Dorseman has some stuff going on that he's dealing with right now. Um, he might like pull it out last minute and tell me he can do it or something like that. But as far as I know, uh, we're, we're, we're going to cancel Sunday night. Um, as for the future, this Wednesday, we're going to be doing a community stream. I don't know like the exact time we're going to be doing it or anything like that. It depends if I have to like pick up Noodle from work and all that stuff. But, yeah, I will 100%. Like, as soon as I get off the stream tonight, I'm going to go downstairs and uh, give Noodle a hug and kiss and whatnot. And then I'm going to be setting up the Discord so that everybody that wants to participate can join the Discord. Um, and then we're definitely doing it. No holds barred. Um, it's it's happening. You didn't work last Wednesday and we didn't do it then. Yeah, but we were both sick as shit. So, like... <laughs> Noodle's not allowed to participate. You can join in on your lunch break. And I plan on doing more of these anyways. Um, if we hit the next follower goal, we'll definitely be doing one then. But I would like to do them, you know, once every month or two, regardless of whether we hit goals. Because uh, they're just fun things to do. So, yeah. But, uh, okay, yeah. So I'm going to be setting up the Discord. Wednesday, we're going to be doing the, the community stream. Come hell or high water. Unless someone dies, we're doing that. 
Um, <laughs> and that will be that, I think. And, uh, yeah, I have to go hug and kiss Noodle before she <laughs> has a tantrum. A tantrum. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again. Bye-bye, y'all, and have a wonderful night.